Pen Dealers. In case you didn't know it, school has already started in some districts across the state, but for you parents still counting down the days, we have some important information tonight on making that transition a little easier. Robin Adair with the first of two special reports in our assignment education. The Spillman family's children will be entering third, fourth, and fifth grade in just a few days, and there's been a lot of talk about school preparation in their home lately. I want them to go back to school, but it's like, oh, am I ready for this? just all the preparation and getting everything they need and so it's stressful for me just to make sure they have everything done. Their grade school counselor says some of the stress is reduced by getting on a class schedule now. That includes gradually enforcing earlier bedtimes and emphasizing a healthy meal routine. You can tell that they're tired and they will go to sleep in class. Children who have had something for breakfast are going to make it till lunchtime without falling asleep at the desk or being so lethargic that they can't perform. When school starts, it's recommended families do as much as they can to get ready the night before, like laying out clothes to avoid morning madness. Mornings can be hectic in almost any household. That's a big problem all year long for families. Parents don't want to send kids off to school um, in a bad mood, and it happens a lot because of just things that happen in the morning. Parents can um, uh, keep that from happening by doing a little organizing. The Spillmans make lunches ahead of time, too. It all contributes to a good start the next day. I feel like that helps me quite a bit, just so I already have to deal with making sure they, they have the, the clothes that I think is appropriate and their hair is fixed. I don't need to deal with uh, all the little things, so I make sure these little things are done ahead of time. Duffendack says children should do as much of this preparation as they can on their own. They need instruction on how to do it, but they need to be responsible for it themselves because you're building their self-confidence when they know they can do it and you trust them to do it. How parents act is important too. Tomorrow night, some ideas on how to alleviate student anxieties with just a few simple words. With photographer Dan Saluski, Robin Adair, Eyewitness News. In other education news tonight, some encouraging figures for Colorado 13-year-olds.